Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report bringing news about the next update for the official Windows 11. And that's the update build 22593. Basically this is a cumulative update which you can get right now on your official Windows 11 OS so you don't have to be a Windows Insider. Now without further ado, let's dive in. There aren't so many highlights with this update but some are worth mentioning. The first one relates to the notification settings. From now on, Windows will display up to three high-priority Toast notifications in the same time. So basically, this feature works for apps that send notifications for reminders such as alarms or calls using the operating system. That means you could get now up to four notifications in total, three of them being high-priority and one normal-priority notification. That seems quite efficient if you're a busy person working a lot with their laptops or PCs. Moving on, another important highlight relates to Microsoft OneDrive. There was an issue hanging for a few months now with OneDrive files losing focus after being renamed and press on the Enter key. So what's the meaning of all this? Well, this means that when a file lost focus, you had to select it again before you could use it. Conclusion, this is more of a bug fix, but good to know nonetheless. Next, another great feature or improvement is happening in the settings window. Now, if you search for the word widgets, you will be returned to the corresponding settings page with the widgets option highlighted as well. I think that's pretty cool and specific as this was a problem in the past and sometimes the search option within settings didn't work properly. Other fixes worth mentioning relate to the startup time for Windows, which was dealing with an issue in the past builds. Basically, this happened when certain network processes stopped responding when a 5G wireless wide area network device is slow to wake up. See, I was sure something was thinking about 5G. But jokes aside, this build also addresses some memory leaks that were happening because of specific DLL modules and it also addresses an issue that prevented the user account control from correctly showing the application that was requesting elevated privileges. I think it's pretty cool seeing Microsoft improving Windows 11 day by day. Well, of course, there are plenty of other fixes, but it would be pretty boring to mention them all because they can get very technical. But if you're interested in them, you can check the link that I posted in the description below, which contains info about all the fixes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual, like and subscribe to our channel if you want to. But nonetheless, feel free to start a discussion in the comment section below. Thank you.